Can you look back in your notes and remember what inductive reasoning is? That was in our first section. What? We look at a, we look at a pattern. In inductive reasoning, we looked at a pattern and we made a conclusion based on a pattern. For instance, Mrs. Cook's late every day, fifth period when she comes back from lunch. So we can make <coughs> <laughs> we can make the conclusion that she'll be late again. Oh my goodness. We're giving it to her. <laughs> <laughs> All time. <laughs> oh, you're going to be in the same spot as Riley. Uh, you have to know you're going to be in the same boat as Riley. <laughs> um, Mason, do I need to have you come over here and sit by Tessa? That's funny. Yeah or no? Yeah or nay? No. No? Okay, thanks. All right. So that was when we looked at a pattern. So, for instance, maybe every day at 3 o'clock you're hungry. So, you notice that pattern, and so you start sticking a granola bar in your backpack so that you can eat it every day at 3 o'clock. Or maybe, um, we're noted, maybe on the sports team, you notice that in basketball, every time a certain player gets the ball, they dribble to the left. Well, you've noticed that pattern, so you make some decisions based on that. You decide, okay, they're going to go left every time. I'm going to stand there so that they can't go left every time. That's a lot of what uh, like pro people do, or even like for the University of Nebraska volleyball, they watch and when a certain person serves, what happens, and they make decisions and conclusions based on those patterns, and that's called inductive reasoning. National championship, you always went to the window, she couldn't dig it, right? So. Right. So today, we're talking about deductive reasoning. That's when we use facts, rules, definitions, and properties to make a conclusion. So that's like what Sherlock Holmes does. He gets all that information. He gets all those diff different information, and he may, uh, comes to a conclusion based on all the information that he's collected, right? Um, ooh, we may watch. We should watch a movie that uses a little deductive reasoning when we get all done. With yes. Just watch the actual Sherlock. Well, have, we, have you ever seen Murder on the Orient Express? Yeah, so good. So much deductive reasoning going on. There. We may have to watch that. Okay, there are two different laws <clears throat> for deductive reasoning, and the first one's called detachment. Shall I get you some uh, highlighters? I remember watching the movie in here. Other like the Polar Express. Yeah, we did that in sixth grade, didn't we? Like, you know how some kids watch the um, what's it called the um, where they like the mathematicians are asked to. I don't know. How NASA? come I can't find my... Do you guys watch that in the year of the class, the NASA people? What's the I don't know. I can't find my green highlighters. I have a pink one. And I have... Here, you guys can share these. Can you share them? Uh, okay. You want pink one? Hey, can you guys use pink? Sure. Okay, so let's highlight the word detachment. And here, here's um, the example of detachment. If P then Q, that's how we read that. If P then Q is true, and P is true, then Q is too, true. So I've got some examples here, and we need to decide if these are true or false, okay? So number one, if Jim is a Texan, then he is an American. Jim is a Texan, so what can we conclude? He is, an American. he is an American. Let's write that down. So, he is an American. Let's write that down right underneath it. Uh, we're highlighting detachment, because that's our first rule. So we can say Jim is... Well, I have Mer this up here. Mer oh. Mer oh, Mer oh, Mer I don't know if I like all you guys to say. Mer Mer okay, number two. Mason, since you're insisting on being in Chatterbox, box, yes. number two for us. If a spot, a spot is a dog, then he has four legs. Spot is a dog. So, so what can we legs. conclude? He, he has, has four, four legs. legs. Uh, did you make this all for Casey's dog spot? Yes. No, I made this probably 12 years ago. Spot. All right, David, can you read number three carefully? <sighs> if Jim is a Texan, then he is an American. <clears throat> Jim is an American. Can so we make a Texan? Any? No. no. We can't make a conclusion. Yes, he could be a Nebraskan. He could be a Nebraskan, no. couldn't he? He could be an Illinois. He could be an Alaskan. So let's write there, no conclusion can be made. For number three, no conclusion can be made. 
Okay, number four. Could you read that one for me, Andrew? His father's dog and his four legs. Spotted four legs. Can we conclude then that he is not? He's a, dog. a horse. He could be a horse. He could be a dog, but, but we don't know. So yeah. we'll say here, can't make a conclusion. I want cat. <laughs> that would be extra. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's look at number five. Larissa, could you read number five for us? October 12th is a Monday, and October 13th is a Tuesday. October 12th is, is a Monday. Can we make a conclusion? Yeah. What? October, October 13th is a Tuesday. Where am I? You're too far. I'd like to see the Okay, so now before we turn the page, I want to give you an example, a faulty <laughs> example that I've heard people say before uh, to be funny. Okay, does everybody know who Ray Charles is? Um, he was a famous musician who was blind. He wrote that song. Georgia, Georgia. Na, 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 na. Georgia on my mind? Never heard it? Okay, anyway, it was pretty famous a while ago. Long time, I mean, even before me. Um, anyway, and he's blind. He's a blind musician. Very good to Yes. Like a Stevie Wonder-esque yes. person. Anyway, so here's the saying. See if this has good logic. Ray Charles is blind. Love is blind. God is love. Ray Charles is God. Is that good logic? No. It's not. That's not using deductive reasoning the way that it's supposed to be used. What I would like you to do before we go on, I want you to look at these one through five, and I want you to write one like one or two that is correct. Or five. Or five. One, two, or five. <clears throat> oh. My little is. And I'm going to have you read your examples of syllogism in just a moment. You can abbreviate and make them short, but it needs to be like the very beginning example or the very last one. And I know this is kind of hard to understand, but it's a different branch of mathematics, so it's good for your brain. Yeah. Got it? I don't know. That's good. You don't know? Should I give you one first? No. Oh. Those uh, direct TV commercials were kind of the law of syllogism. They're if that statement. It's yeah. the orange juice. Because they had all the bridges in the middle. And at the very end, they would say, yeah. they'd do the, the beginning one and the end one, wouldn't they? Get the end one. Why are you there? Get the end. Anthony, do you have one? Can you read yours first? Uh, if I play football, then I love football. If I love football, then I am an athlete. If I play football, then I am an athlete. Perfect. Mason, you got yours? If David is drinking, then he is drinking orange juice. If David is drinking orange juice, then it is in the morning. If David is drinking, then it is morning. Okay. David, do you have one? No, I'm still figuring it out. Okay. Karen, did you write one down? No, not yet. Okay. Tessa, you got one yet or not quite? Not yet. Not quite, Daddy? Um, if Ashley goes home, then she will do work. If Ashley does work, then she will get paid. If Ashley goes home, then she will get paid. Very good. Larissa, you ready? Okay, Andrew? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Go for it. Okay, so if I break my phone, then I'll need a new phone. Or I'll need a new one. If I break my phone, then I'll buy an Apple. If I break my phone, then I'll buy an Apple. Yes. Read your first one again. If I break my phone, then I will need a new one. Okay, so you need to say something about your next day. If I need a new one, then I will get an apple. If I get an apple. You can't start both of your statements the same way. And your, the last one. your second statement has to start the way that the first one ends. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> if Julie works after school, no, that's not what okay. Um, if William, here, look at this one, Andrew. If William is reading, then he's reading a magazine. And then this starts with him reading a magazine, then he's reading about computers. 
and then we take the first part of the first one and the last part of the second one. Okay, go, David. If the hydroplast is steel, then it will keep the water cool. If it, if it will keep the water cool, then I will drink the water inside. If the hydroplast is steel, then I will drink the water inside. That's perfect. The rest of you got yours? If Sarah is playing, then he is playing football. If Char is playing football, then he is playing football against Stuart. If Char is playing, then he is playing football against Stuart. Perfect. Tessa, got yours? No. Nope? Okay. Um, did everybody else read theirs? Mason, down. Down. Four. All the way. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Okay. All right. What I'm going to have you do for tomorrow is I'm going to have you um, write some, uh, there's going to be some, if you want to write this out, that's fine. If you would rather type it, that's fine. I'll take it either way. Okay, because it's going to be a lot of words. So it might be better for you to do. Yeah, this chapter is a little bit. It is. It's the logic part of math, which is a lot of... Uh, can you guys stop, please? Um, we're going to do page 136. For 12 through 17, it says inductive or deductive. Inductive is a pattern. Deductive is taking facts and making a decision. Okay? So 12 through 17, you're going to say, and you can write I or D, inductive or deductive. And then um, we're also we're going to go to 23, and for those, it says determine whether the conclusion is valid. If not, you can write invalid and tell me why. Okay. And then we're going to go over and do 26 through 36 even. Again, invalid or valid. Not using a Venn diagram. Okay. Um, the directions say that, but we're not going to. And then those last ones, 32 through 36, um, you're going to use the law of syllogism to come to a conclusion. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I am right now. Thank so the you. problems that we're use, doing are page 136. So you'll have to read the directions. The only thing we're not doing is we are not using a Venn diagram, and that is in the directions. Okay? So 12 through 23, and then 26 through 36 even. I hope you have that written down. I'm going to stop. Wait, just... uh, and inductive and deductive? The uh, first one, inductive is fall if it's a pattern. Okay. Deductive is if you look at all the clues and the facts, and then you make a decision based on that. I got it. Okay, can I... I have to stop this so I can save it for Lizette. Bye, Lizette.